Lassie, the world's most famous dog, and Red Heart, America's favorite dog food, team up for The Lassie Show. Yes, from Hollywood, it's The Lassie Show, transcribed by John Morrell and company, makers of free flavor Red Heart. And here is Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's lovable motion picture star, Lassie, in person. <laughs> Lassie is fed Red Heart exclusively, and Lassie's vigorous bark, strong body, and fine glossy coat are positive proof that Red Heart helps keep dogs healthy and happy. Lassie speaks for Red Heart. All three wonderful flavors. And now to introduce our story, here is Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax. Thank you, Charlie, and hello, everyone. Well, today, Lassie plays a part of a German shepherd dog named Chekel in a true story entitled His Master's Eye. And to help us tell this true story, Lassie has a very special guest, Donna Michi. Thank you, Rudd. I'm honored at this opportunity to impersonate Mr. John L. Sinekin, who, through the inspiration of his dog, Chekel, conceived the idea which has resulted in the institution known today as the Master Eye Foundation, a non-profit organization which furnishes guide dogs without cost to the blind all over America. Our story begins shortly after World War I. Dad was sure right about these German shepherds. Don't you just love Checo, Ma? Yes, Marvin, I do, dear. Look, there's a big strange dog in with the cattle. Got a Checo, boy! Go get him! Get him, boy! Come on, Ma! Marvin, what'll we do? Oh, look, it's that huge dog with kill him. Quick, Ma! Quick! Help me find some stones! Good dog, Chekel. Mom, did you see that? He made that big mutt run. Well, I told you, Chekel. Marvin. Could... Marvin, something's wrong with Chekel. His paw. It's going to be torn from his leg. Oh, quick, run back and get the wheelbarrow. We'll have to get him to the house and call the doctor. Hurry, Marvin, hurry. <laughs> what are you chuckling at, John? Oh, just watching old Checo out there in the yard playing with Marvin. Gets around pretty spry in those three paws. Poor old cripple. I know I've got some... More coffee, dear? No, thanks. Say, so, you know, Genevieve, since the war, so much has been done in the way of making artificial limbs and feet. I wonder why someone hasn't tried to make the same helps for injured animals. Oh, John, it just couldn't be done. A dog wouldn't wear it. Well, you've always said Checo could be trained to do almost anything. Why couldn't he be made to use an artificial foot? That is, if we uh, had one. Well, don't you think he'd chew the straps and try to get it off? He might. But if it did work, my he'd attract a lot of attention at the dog show with it with an artificial limb. Well, you know, it might save a lot of other good dogs from being destroyed because of those same kind of injuries. Stumbling over someone. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I help? No, 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 quiet, quiet, Checo. Is that a dog you have there? Yes, I got special permission to keep him with me on the train. Oh. <laughs> you see, he's sort of handicapped, too. He wears an artificial paw. An, an artificial paw, did you say? Yes, and he uh, lost one front foot in a fight. I had this artificial one made, and it's worked out so well, I'm taking him to the dog show along with two Springer Spaniels I'm showing. I hope to demonstrate how well a dog can get along in an artificial limb. Oh, that's wonderful. May I pet him? Oh, sure, he'd love it. Come on, Checo. 
Then I'll stand, boy. Hello there, old fella. He's a German shepherd. Uh, quite a few of them coming into the country now. Oh, I know. I saw a good many of them in Germany before I lost my... Maybe before I was wounded. Oh, you uh, uh, lost your eyes in the war? Yes. Oh. Uh, you were going down the aisle with your dog? Yeah, just taking him down for a drink. Well, may I walk him to the end of the car just for fun? Oh, of course. Here, here's the leash. Checo, let's go. Go ahead. No, no, don't, don't be quiet now. I'll just go ahead and he'll follow. Oh, good dog. Here's the leash, and yeah, thanks a million. You know, it's a funny thing. I, I just followed the dog, and I didn't bump into one seat. Guess the dog knew where I was going better than I did myself. Yes, I, I, I noticed he did, didn't he? I just straight down the aisle. You know, I'm getting an idea. And if it works out, I... Oh, it's got to work out. I'm glad you're home, John. Ooh, sure good to be home, honey. Oh, dear, how did you do at the show? Did you win anything? Where's Checo? Did he oh, fall no, right with you? Wait, the... wait, wait, wait just a minute, honey. You tell me. How are things around here? Uh, everything's fine, dear. Good, good. We and, uh, missed you, though. Oh, well, I'm glad. How is Marvin? Oh, oh, here he comes. Well, how is my big boy? Oh, huh? put me down, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's Checo, Pop? Did you show him at the show? I sure did, son. I'll tell you all about it later. Right now, I want you to get him out of the truck. Uh, also, take Alvin Bright Boy out of the crates and put him back in the kennels with the other dogs. And see that they're all fed and watered. Will you do that first? Oh, sure, Pop. Okay. Come on, dear. I just can't wait to tell you. All right, uh, John. Let's sit on the back steps. Huh? Right. Oh, hello, Checo. <laughs> Sounds like Checo's glad to be home, too. Mm. Well, come on, sit down, John, and tell me all about it. What did you win? Well, Alva LaSalle got the third ribbon in the open class, and Bright Boy got the fourth ribbon in the field trials. Well, gosh, I, I don't think that's much to get excited about. Oh, no, no, of course it isn't, honey. That's not what I'm excited about. Oh. I'm excited about a great new idea, and it was Checo that gave it to me. An idea? Checo gave yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen to me, please, dear. Uh, we were on the train. I started to get out of the seat to get Checo a drink, and in so doing, I bumped into a blind man. We visited, you know, he lost his eyes in the war. He oh. loved dogs, and he... Kind of made a fuss over Checo. And then he asked if he could take the leash and lead him the length of the car. And the miracle was that Checo led him. He didn't bump into one single seat. Well, I don't get it. What possible Well, don't you see, dear? Here I've been raising Springer Spaniels, teaching them to hunt, teaching them to retrieve, showing a few and selling a few. For what? Don't you see what it would mean if I could train dogs to lead the blind? Train dogs to lead the blind? Oh, why, John, what do you expect of a dog? Why... That's the most impossible oh, idea. Oh, no, I've no, it is not, Genevieve. I, 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 I tell you, I've got it all figured out. All I've got to do is work out a training technique that'll make a dog understand that he is the leader instead of the one being led. And I know how to do that, too. I'm going to blindfold Marvin, and then I'll lay out an obstacle course. I'll use Checo to work out the technique. I'm, I'm sure German shepherds are the dogs for this job. Oh, I know it'll work. It, 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 it's just got to work. <laughs> I thought you were working with the dog. What are you sitting here for? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm getting nowhere. But last night you were quite enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah, he'll turn aside at the barricades, but there's mud puddles. He just walks right straight through them. Logs in the ground, he jumps over them. Blind man had fallen on his face a dozen times if he tried to follow Checo through this obstacle course. But you said last night he'd hold anybody to the course. Oh, sure he will. But like I said, when he comes to a barricade, he walks around it nicely. Then when he comes to a mud puddle, he walks you right straight through it. That's a part of the training technique I, I just can't seem to work out. Oh, honey, if, if you could have seen Checo on that train, walking so carefully down the aisle, the train was swaying, too, but he, he, he seemed to know. He, he seemed to realize that a blind man held his leash, and then he had to walk exactly in the center of that aisle. I don't know, maybe I expect two months. Four months now I've worked. 
nighttime, daytime. Uh, John, look. Checo. Standing at the first barrier of your obstacle course. He wants to try again. He likes your game of blind man's buff. Oh, Marvin, put on the blindfold. Your father's going to try it again. Okay. Do go on, John. Checo's asking you to try it again. Don't give up, dear. Genevieve, Genevieve, come here quick, will you? John, what's wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Checo just led Marvin blindfolded the full length of the obstacle course without one fault. What? Come on, come on watch, watch. They're just about to come back through the course. Right. I tell you, I found the secret of making a dog understand that he is the leader instead of the one being led. I want you to see this. Oh, John, how wonderful. Now, watch him, watch him. Okay, Marvin, come ahead. <laughs> now, watch him. What? Hey, you see that? Yes. See, he took Marvin right around that barricade without a bit of trouble. Uh-huh. It's the big mud puddle ahead that's always worried me. But not anymore. Oh! Did you oh, see that? What did I tell you? you? Look, you see him pause? Yes. See him hold back? Genevieve, I've got it. I've got it. A guide dog for the blind is possible. Okay, Marvin, take off the blindfold and come here. Well, how'd we do, Dad? Oh, oh, wonderful. Just wonderful, son. Son, you didn't peek under that blindfold, did you? Oh, no. Honestly, Dad, I couldn't see a thing. It was Checo. Oh, oh Checo. Checo, you wonderful old dog. Peg like in the hall. <laughs> You know, if this training technique works with other dogs like yourself, all I know is that the credit will be all yours. Chekhov, you. You will have been the first tiny flame which will grow until it can light the way for those who walk in darkness. Thank you, Lassie, Don Amici, Betty Arnold, Jeffrey Silver, Don Diamond, and Earl Keene. Now, friends, in just a moment, Rudd Weatherwax will be back to tell you about next week's story. But first, John Morrell and company, makers of three-flavor Red Heart dog food, want to turn over their usual commercial time in order that Don Amici may bring you this important message. Don Amici. Friends, the Master Eye Foundation is a worthy cause that deserves the support of all. It provides Master Eye guide dogs free to the blind, regardless of race or creed. Master Eye is a non-profit, non-sectarian foundation directed by Bishop Bernard J. Scheel of Chicago. It costs the foundation over $1,500 to raise and train a Master Eye guide dog. Thousands of blind people need Master Eye dogs. Now, you dog owners can appreciate what a Master Eye dog can mean to a blind person. And you can help the blind to own one by sending a donation to Master Eye Foundation, Minneapolis 2, Minnesota. Do your share to light the way for those who walk in darkness. Send that donation today to Master Eye, Minneapolis 2, Minnesota. Now, once again, Lassie's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax. Next week, Lassie plays a part of a movie dog and a story entitled, I Learned Him. Now, don't miss it. Lassie is presented each week at this same time by John Morell and Company, makers of Three Flavor Red Heart, the taste-tested food that your dog will enjoy, the health-tested food that will keep him in shape. Lassie is fed Red Heart exclusively, and Lassie's vigorous bark, strong body, and fine, glossy coat are positive proof that Red Heart Helps keep dogs healthy and happy. Lassie speaks for Red Heart. (coughs) All three wonderful flavors. Lassie appeared by arrangement with Metro (coughs) Goldwyn Mayer, who invites you to see their production of Battleground, starring Van Johnson, John Hodiak, Ricardo Montalban, and George Murphy. The Lassie Show is produced (coughs) and transcribed in Hollywood by Frank (coughs) Perrin. Directed by Harry Stewart, story (coughs) by Hobart Donovan. This is Charles Lyon. Hear that happy hillbilly Judy Canova tonight on NBC.